Earlier when David tried to get in the club, they stopped him at the door. And I said, do you not know who this is? This is David Spade. And the doorman said, yeah, but it's 21 and up. <laughs> David, you look great. Okay, Thank that's you, what buddy. I was going for on that one. <laughs> David Spade and Red Band have a lot in common. David only dates tens, and that's exactly who Red Band solicits. <laughs> Ten-year-olds, Red Band, that's what I was going for. Okay. Oh, yeah. I feel pretty good other than the fact that there is now a dead squirrel up in our chimney, and it has been smelling like death for the past three days now, Tony, and I actually had an exterminator man come by today and he starts telling me, oh, I can't go up on the roof. If I go up on the roof this one way, I'm gonna roll off and die. If I go off the other way, I'm gonna roll off and die. And I'm like, dude, you're not just a friend. I'm trying to fucking pay you money to get rid of this fucking thing. Why are you just giving me excuses, you dumb piece of shit? This is why you're fucking getting dead squirrels out of people's fucking chimneys because you're a dumbass you motherfucker he's giving me all these excuses tony and i just want the smell gone but it's going to be wednesday so i have to live with it for another couple days that's so. what happens when your exterminator's last name is ginsburg yeah <laughs> actually i'm uh, allergic to squirrels i can't get up there i'm allergic to rooftops as well i do not perform well under these conditions uh, nice job william thanks I david i haven't seen all the other minutes but i'm glad i was here for this one very, thank you. Yeah. You do exude confidence, I will tell you that. Yeah, and well, thank you so much. Yeah, and the joke uh, about them not letting you in, it was just about how nice you look. That's all I was, I was just trying to say you look really nice tonight. Thank That's you. What, I took no okay. offense. I understand how it works, but thank you for saying that. For sure, for sure. I understand I might be, I might get some crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I warned David that sometimes you can be weird with the guests and that uh, you're just kidding. Well... For I sure. have to ask you now, right? How many how many yeah. times have I seen you? Um, at least twice. Yeah, at, at least twice, two or three times. How does it feel to be the headliner of a no money show? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's very exciting. That's why book me on Cameo, please. Yeah. The William is the William is Cameo. rich, by the way. He's the number three creator on Cameo and has no been for the way. past year. Yeah. Yeah, it's been great. It's been, I genuinely appreciate anybody who's ever got one. And also, got Tony, I had to stop myself. I was fucking holding the microphone like those dumb New York pieces of shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> William, William, they're, they're not from New York. <laughs> well, that's they, they perform in New York. That's the yeah. defining characteristic. I mean, don't try it. I get it. You're from fucking New York, but you have to admit those people were fucking terrible. And I have a dead squirrel in my, like, yeah, thanks, dumbass. Holy shit. Whoa. The squirrel in your <laughs> chimney is probably covered with ash and soot. To talk about this more, we're going to go with our senior African-American correspondent. <laughs> what do you think about the squirrel in blackface in the chimney right now? <laughs> and that's the only reason why he's trying to get rid of it. You know, I mean, he is racist as shit, though, Ian. I mean, it's a real racist fucking... <laughs> How am I racist? <laughs> No, the squirrel's racist. How's the squirrel? How's the dead squirrel racist? He's been saying the N-word a bunch, and I'm like, dude, I can't fucking, I can't do this shit. He's trying to get me to say the N-word, Ian, but I haven't been saying it. <laughs> I haven't been saying it. Listen, even, even when you say just the N-word, I hear the E-R. <laughs> well, that was a long time ago, Ian. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, no, Tony, I was in Tacoma this past week, and the shows were fun. I did six shows, and they didn't have a bathroom anywhere close to the green room, so you know how much liquid I drink. It is incredible. And at the time, the, the trash cans were filled up with bottles of urine after uh, every night, so that was exciting. So That's what, what made I did. you start? So did you get homesick? Or no, with all that urine? You look like a guy yes. who collects urine. You really do. I have had it before when I was living in Los Feliz in L.A. I uh, was living in this basement thing at one point, and I had bottle, two liter bottles everywhere. I was able to fill up two liters of urine of urine at a time, and I'd just hang on to them. But wow. Save it for Cameo. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this. Yeah. <laughs> right. It is amazing. <laughs> Elaine, what do you think? William, you're very likable. Uh, you don't look like you've bathed in a while, but that's okay. 
What does your shirt say? It says storage, etc. It's the people, uh, Christina Gonzalez. It's the place where I was working right before the pandemic, and I still hope Christina Gonzalez is dead and in hell. She Whoa. was... Was that your boss? Yeah, she was a stupid fucking Latina woman, which said the details don't matter on that, but she was a stupid, <laughs> fat bitch. And I would catch her stupid fucking ass. This is when I was drinking and doing blow all the time, so I'd show up fucking hungover as fuck, and she would be sleeping in the break room, and I'd take pictures pictures of the security camera and she would get mad and there was one time Ian I did have a good George Floyd joke during the pandemic and I'm good friends with the two black guys who I'm working with and she has bad intention telling them that I was some racist person it was bullshit it was she's a dumbass the, and you have flourished in that situation correct I am trying yeah damn right I have yeah you really have it's absolutely yeah, incredible, and it's not usual. We very rarely get a chance to uh, get serious, and I especially hate doing it in front of Dave Attell, who's about to kill me right now. No, I, uh, I was going to ask him. He's on the road now. What's his favorite town? What do you like, dude? Yeah. Um, Spokane was wonderful. Honestly, Tacoma, I think Chicago and Tacoma, I've been the best uh, received. They all go they all go well, but really? Tacoma and Chicago were wonderful. I didn't know AirTran went there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was the George Floyd joke? Yeah, what was the yeah, George what, Floyd joke? Yeah, we all what was the George know. Floyd joke? I, I heard George Floyd's last wishes were to make change for a 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and with that, we check in with our senior African-American correspondent, Ian Edwards. What do we think about the joke? Just... Just based on that, I feel like he murdered that black squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> true. There were uh, there were red uh, red hairs around the corpse. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I was wondering, I heard earlier, I didn't even get a fucking big notebook for Christmas, Tony. Yeah. Holy shit, I need What's a big that about? notebook. Oh, uh, what is that about? Uh, well, it's right around the corner. Okay, Christmas okay. is right around the corner. <laughs> Oh, there is a Kill Tony keychain. Would you like a Kill Tony keychain? Yeah, I love yeah, yeah, keys. Sure. Once you wow, get a house, look you at that put... suit. Do you see how he caught that? I mean, it's unbelievable. You see these guys that get pulled out of the bucket. They have to fucking focus. They take it dead on. They get behind it like an infielder. That is such an insult. Yeah. Give him a keychain when he has no house or car. That really is a... <laughs> He has an, he has his own <laughs> condo and he just he has so much money that he put an escalator inside of it. He bought an escalator. You want to tell Dave about your escalator? Yeah, Dave. I don't know. Uh, uh, you have an escalator in your apartment? Yes. You was, live in a mall. It was three hundred <laughs> three hundred thousand uh, dollars. What do you think about that, David Spade? That's five cameos according to my calculation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, up charge, right. up charge. <laughs> William, you did it again. We fucking love you. It doesn't get much better than Great that, job. right, Elaine? What no, do you you're, think? You're unbelievable. You've got, uh, you've got, you just, it's, you can't, you can smell the mental illness on you, but, uh, but you're dressed like all the people in high school that I really, uh, that I admired. You know, you, 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 you cool. dressed. Uh, do you, do you dress yourself? Well, I've just, I can't stop looking at your fucking nasty fucking neck, you old bitch. It looks just like Whoa. the fucking oh. squirrel that's dead in my chimney, bitch. Oh, <laughs> okay, you know what? I was waiting for somebody to make fun of my neck, and I think I fucking had it. This neck looks like all the fucking pussies that you fucked with your tiny inch dick. <laughs> and you know what? Oh, is that funny, bitch? God, and you're stupid. God, let me see them titties, bitch. Oh. I can't believe you let your girl walk out like that, that dumbass. That is my shit. daughter's friend. You stop that. <laughs> Thing. Um, David, maybe, maybe get me on Dickie Roberts, too. If you make another Dickie Roberts, get me on the second one. I'll put you on the short list. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'll need a love interest. Ooh. Uh, just brainstorming. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, William, we absolutely love you. You're a fucking freak. You're the best. Good job, William. Cool. You're the best nice in the history of the show. You. Make some goddamn noise for William Montgomery, everybody. And we did it again. William, I guess I'm, I'm getting angry because... Well, I get angry when I get turned on. <laughs> Red, Red band music. Uh-oh. Here you go. Thank you for being a friend. Traveling down the run and back. I guess what I'm trying to say. 
William, I've never seen a ginger I like. I've traveled the world. I've seen everything. And tonight has been the greatest night of my life. Come here. We've seen good jokes and bad jokes and Jews and blacks. And that fat guy almost had a heart attack tonight. But that's what you get when you sign up for Kill Tony. You try your best. You hold it on your side. It's love. And if you strike out. We'd like to thank them. How about one more time for the great William Montgomery? I don't think there's a comedian in the world that could possibly do better than that. We've seen this before, folks. Redman, you're fucking up that stupid noise. I'm not blinking that. I'm not winking that much. 